okay i will also uh, do the the ground a little bit more dark because on d-day they they had uh, there was very bad weather the day before the 6th of june so therefore i think the ground must be wet because it had it must have been raining and so on and it uh, i don't think it it uh, would have dried up down in the trenches uh, when the record manor assault action took place so i want to have the the ground to be looking like uh, not very wet but uh, not dried ground so i take just this dark brown with a little black in it and this is acrylics i use now i want to build up a little more uh, ground or earth here that the germans have digged up when they built the, the, the trench trenches to, to do that i will use uh, this air drying modeling paste or ply uh, i this is very good because i i opened this one i think six months ago and i keep it in this plastic bag and it uh, still works fine to use so I'm very happy about the, this modeling clay. Okay, so I, I have uh, formed a little piece here and I will place it like, like this. And then we will have sandbags in this area. So I will work this down. Uh, sorry, I will have to have some some of the glue to make it stay in place I could have used some sort of modeling paste to to build up this the, the soil here but I don't want that because I think that will be quite it will be too messy uh, if we have modeling paste here and we have the small flowers and, and the tree here so it's uh, much safer to use this piece that's in, in one piece The glue I use a lot is uh, this one from Noch, uh, Landscape Clearable. Okay, so now we put small pieces down in the clay. And also we have some uh, loose green uh, grass stuff that we randomly put down in the clay. Here we have to have uh, something to fix. Well, sometimes it gets a little messy. One thing I, I almost forgot was to add some uh, some small oops things or roots or something that has also should lie here. Ok, 
Okay, now we have the soil again. Don't worry if, it, if it's don't cover all things because we will fix that later. Okay. You see that it's good to, to um, have some grass pieces before you put on the soil. And now we can add some more after as well. Okay, when we want really fine soil, then I use this thing that you have for tea and just, oh sorry, you can't see here, and then it just be a, a fine powder that covers the, the glue, you see. Okay, we have some small parts here that we have to, to cover with, with more glue. Or we can just, we could just have to put some paint there. But okay, now I have the, the glue in front of me, so we use the glue okay like that okay I think that's uh, good enough for right now we can put more small details later I have decided to put uh, much more grass uh, up here. So I will keep working with the white glue and water, as you see, and put more of this uh, grass up here. So we'll see how it will end up. Here I have worked a little more with more grass. Yeah, what do you see? Okay, here I will do try to do a, a small detail. So I have this little piece of uh, grass that I will put on a special place here so it will look like it will hang out a little Okay, I think that's looking quite cool. Okay, I've been thinking about this uh, solution I did with the thread. Uh, and, uh, well, 
it looks okay in, in real when you see it and you have the figures in front of, of this but when you see the reference picture you see okay it's not 100% I did a, a, a little test uh, I made a new new sides for the trench uh, with um, real uh, small branches and, and uh, metallic wire and this one is looking more like the picture but it's too much much job to uh, cut this apart and, and change to this one so therefore I, I have decided to, to, to make another, a new diorama. So here is my new reference pictures that I have. Uh, you see the action will take place in the entrance of the ammunition storage and also the entrance for the, the headquarter for the uh, gun positions. So I think this could be nice, it's a bigger than the first a diorama I built so hopefully this will be better